Bravo. A good, hand. good old Jeff. <laughs> you know what's really funny about uh, that is that I've added commentary to the the ISO recordings. So me switching, and then the oh. first thing you said was "good old Jeff." Good old. Jeff. So like that's just that's really funny to me. <laughs> someone someone tomorrow oh, is Jeff, gonna have a good my chuckle. Favorite. <laughs> yeah, they'll be watching the vod, and then at like at stock two, good old Jeff. Good old Jeff. <laughs> Let's go, Jeff. Still, Crumb is a. Nice pull. But Saturn. Crom, Crom's a, a little bit rough. I think Crom is probably a character that, that has, I think, has the tools to do well versus Peach. But yeah, I think Peach's I agree. like hedge guarding ability might be like a little bit too much for him. But I mean, if you don't get him off stage, you know, it's so funny. I you mean, did, if you don't get him off stage, just kill him from center stage. Yeah. That's all. And I mean, t t to be fair, uh, nothing I'm saying is applying right now. Like Peach is three stocking, <laughs> so you know. But you know. Jeff, we'll look into this. <laughs> You're very peep, fast. Peep, peep this, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, you know, no, pleasantly surprised. Right? You have another Crom that's not Crow Song. Crom is the pinnacle character to me of on paper versus in practice. Yeah, like, yep. like, yeah. Like, dude's got all the tools. His range is crazy. His frame data is nuts. Like, he can do it all while he's on stage. He and then you put him off stage at all, and he explodes. When my, plan is, when my <laughs> man is playing the good neutral, oh my god, this like, looks unstoppable. He, he, and then he fumbles once. He's very similar to, like, Sheik, right? Where you're, like, very good character, going. very overwhelming, can explode. And, like, yeah. they explode for different reasons, but, like, nonetheless, on paper, it's just like... <laughs> you're like, all right. Yep. And then you like you play against them, and you like it doesn't feel nearly as bad, or you're able to pick up on one or two habits in offense, and like oh, I can get around this by rolling through them at this time, and yeah. or jumping away, or what have you. Yeah, as, and like this, like as opposed to like Sheik is like you know it's like oh if I trade by accident she might die. Yeah, yeah. She's right. like oh I just like accidentally killed you. Yeah. you know? And, and one, I mean like two, yeah. blue flare. If you hit Krom by accident and he gets hit off stage, he might die. Yeah. You know, so it's like okay. I mean he's also an airbender. Don't let's not get it twisted. That yeah, character he, he is flies. Very Mm -hmm. yeah. He's got he, the fucking Hermes shoes going on. He reaches top speed in midair. Oh, so so Let's go back to station one real quick. Uh, the soaring axe kick, though. That's not normally. Yeah, the, yeah uh, I'm used to seeing helicopter kicks. Helicopter kick, Lamau? What meat rollers are you watching? That You'd be surprised. <laughs> There, there's a few that believe in it, though. Yes, you're right. It's the what you call it, piston punch, I think. Thrusting uppercut. That. What am I thinking of then? Piston punch is forward smash. I think or something. So. Or a neutral, but it's he has so many punching moves. Yeah, I mean, they're, you know, what do you want? He, what do you want? He's a very, very yeah. like base visual character, but oh. Oh, this is a change. Wow. This is interesting. This he, is very interesting. This, this, this is a yeah. This Awakening. is an Awakening <laughs> fan. 
Uh, I do think we go to game three. We're seeing a Lucina. I do think Robin is a little underrated, though. Okay. I was going to say the exact same thing. I think this character mm -hmm. is fairly underrated. Has some pretty strong moves. And again, like Ooh. I don't know why, but like I swear to you, I am not trying to downplay Peach. I I swear to you, I am not trying to. But like the, all these characters, oh, I feel like you can just no. take advantage of her slow mobility. But you know, if you let her edge guard. It's the same. Recover you are speaking the exact opposite. Yeah, I exists. know. This is my commentator's blessing yeah. for uh, Blue, Blue Flare. Blue Flare. Yeah. It's like Peach constantly feels like the exact opposite of that on paper versus in yeah. practice type yeah. of vibe where on paper, oh my god, Peach is so slow. Pulling turnips can take forever. Like Her damage output's crazy, but you gotta get hit by a down tilt or like one of these straight moves. You get moves. touched once. And it's then, like, I can oh. just... like. I can just avoid all that, and like float can be kind of telegraphed sometimes. Yeah. Like she holds his own, but she's not really great at encroaching on your space. Mm -hmm. And then she, you play against her, and she hits you once, and suddenly you're dead. And like, oh, yeah, <laughs> right. She's like, how did this happen? It's definitely like you know, uh, one of those things where Ooh. she definitely oh, changes how you want to approach the game. For sure, right? For and sure. that, and that's kind of what I meant earlier about it being like a bit of a matchup check because. Because she's a neutron star, if you get if you enter her zone, it's like, oh lordy, lights out. Yeah. Yeah. Plus, float is still, to this day, one of the most one of the most flexible secondary yeah. mechanics to ever be introduced into Smash. Yeah. Float is crazy. It All is thanks to so Super Mario Brothers. Too good. Wahoo, Wahoo Mario. Mm -hmm. Hello, Mario. I know yep. it does my heart good. Anyway, <laughs> Kazuya is a character that I enjoy more because I've played Tekken. <laughs> Good. Which is like... Everyone played Tekken. The, that is the only reason I now am like, oh, Kazuya's actually pretty sick. He's probably still do shouldn't do the things he does in Smash. But, uh, uh, like well, that. he's certainly not doing, he's unfortunately, not doing, what Jeff yeah. just did. Yeah, yeah, hopefully not. I still maintain uh -oh. it, though. Like, I don't think the character switch is bad for Jeff, though. Oh, but... You re-grab... Oh, never punish. Never mind. He read the buffer adoption. Nice stuff from Blue Flare. Blue Flare's playing well. Make no mistake about that. But the right, fin board, finally getting stock nice. on the board, but is it too little, too late? Survey says... Possibly. Oh, maybe. Approaching on Peach is definitely... Like, things get infinitely harder yeah. once you're once you're in a position like this. It's, it's like, approaching on Peach. That's approaching as Peach as Robin. Yeah. The character moves like molasses. Yeah, Robin has to approach from these like mid ranges where you get to play like, hey, uh, level one Thunder is actually really strong. Uh, yeah. Levin Nair is really crazy, and like sometimes you're able to get the space to do a rising arc fire. But mm -hmm. yeah, I think uh, like. You know, you'd have to really try and like even the playing field uh, with just like the obstacle course, the cacophony of fucking like endless projectiles, because like she probably would have to, she would probably struggle to get past them. And so, if, like, if you're ready to like get all the the hit confirms and like react to the setups and stuff like that, okay, you know, yeah, that's where the like jump back or jump forward arc mm. fires can feel really good. Yeah, uh, and and okay, so like that's a really good example of just like. You know, where float is a matchup check sort of thing, so where it's good. just like, oh, look, she's going this way. Yeah. I'm yeah. going to punish her landing. Nope. Wow, she she's going the complete she other stopped. direction. <laughs> You're yeah. like, oh my huh? God. You know, and the that incentive. can be really difficult. <laughs> it's the same thing that I always, that uh, I keep talking about and keep thinking about when it comes to like Steve's blocks, right? Mm -hmm. At any point, Steve can just decide, I'm stopping, I'm getting a resource back, and I'm suddenly grounded and able to completely change what direction I'm heading, where